Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Fable 2 Redux. In our last installment, Sparrow finally finished her preparations and started the Crucible. Now there are eight rounds in the Crucible, and she has managed to overcome two of them with a perfect time, but we have about six rounds left to go. And so, with that being said, we should probably get started. And she's doing all of this just a little after six in the morning, which is uh, pretty impressive. Also, uh, I decided in between episodes to actually install Fable 2 on my hard drive, so hopefully from here on out, uh, loading screens should take up less time in the video. Anyway, that being said, let us move forward. What does round three have for round us? Round three! Three, two, one, go! Let's Earth see. Way. 200 gold. Oh dear. I keep forgetting that she gets hit and that means that boring. Well, I'm not here to, uh, well, I guess I do need to be here to mediocre. There we go. Well, uh, that's one round down at least. Let's see. Oh, there is a bag of gold or something. Yep, 500 gold. Alright. Ah, there's a trader room. I'm guessing we can buy potions and stuff here. <laughs> and the trader's in love with me. Okay. Cool. Ah, good to have you back. Let's see. Let's grab one You'll of those. Sensible buy. And a resurrection have file. A nice day. Let's see. Um That's oh. quick. Have a nice yeah. drink before we head out to room four. Let's see, I wonder what we're facing. More hobs? Oh, we might be dealing with some hollow men. Uh, let's quick grab some more abilities. Oh, still haven't learned level four yet. Um, can we take level four of Inferno, though? It looks like we can. Let's see. Cool. All right, let's stand in the circle and deal with this.
And let's see. Another time spell. some space here. Until they get in and I don't care if it's mediocre. I'm trying to get them all into one spot. Uh, dealing with hollow men is a pain in the butt. Nice. Well, four perfect rounds. If we can do one more, then she'll get the top prize. Uh, oh, it's a good thing she learned that level four Inferno spell, because otherwise uh, taking down those groups would be a lot harder. Hollow men can be a pain in the butt, especially considering they can all swarm you like that. Luckily, this is when time control comes in majorly handy. Oh boy. Are we dealing with more hollow men? What's going on here? Round five. Oh. Mercenaries, Three, maybe? Two, one, go! First wave! Ah, takes me back to my unit. Oh. Why don't I try to get a better vantage point? There we go. Got mixed up there. Come on, let me kill the guy. There we go. I don't think we're going to be getting a perfect round here. Ah, there's a guy back there. Oi. Oh, no. 
Yep, this is definitely not going to be a perfect round. Health is back. Oh, we better go grab that cash. Yeah, that was a tougher round. Let's see, room six. I wonder if we can get another perfect round. Round six. Three. Two, one, go! First wave! What was it? And fire out from the walls, man dog! A total stare into the abyss! What have you done? Don't stare into the abyss! Why? The big sack in your soul! No! But if you're anything like me, you'll stop it in a bit of a way! Second wave! to have some barbecue. This isn't going to be a perfect round either. Let's just try to finish it up. happens if I step on ah I should have used that to my advantage well maybe next time I think you can go into the crucible more than once once you get far enough 
All right, well, that's six rooms down, and we have another trader room to stop by. And I think this would be a good opportunity to munch on some goodies. And get some new abilities. Wonder if she can take that time control ability now. The answer is yes. Let's see. Can she take more accuracy? Why, yes. And what about toughness? Yes, she can take more toughness. Let's see. Is there anything else she can take? Doesn't look like it. Maybe another level in Vortex? There we go. Cool. Anything else? Hope I can help ya. Well, obviously I'm going to take nice. more health potions. And a resurrection file, Sensible just fire. in case. Kundra, what's up? Nothing much, uh, just trying to complete the crucible here. And let's get hey, this all. That's not bad, you know. There we go. Room seven. Wonder what's going to be in here. Round seven, three. Balverines. It was a perfect round, so she's going to get the ultimate prize, even if she doesn't uh, get all eight rounds perfect. And I noticed that in these various rooms, uh, there are different areas like caves and uh, kind of deserty areas. This is a ruin area, a bit more like uh, what you saw in Westcliff with the Howling Halls and whatnot. Ooh, 2,000 gold. Goodness, goodness, goodness. All right, well, just one more round to go. Oh, getting stuck by a rock there. And we've still got about 10 minutes or so to go. And this is going to be exciting. 
I think we're dealing with a troll here. Oh, rock troll. Taken down about a third of itself now. At this point, I'm just worried about finishing stuff. Oh, come on. gotten about three quarters of its health down. Oh, come on! Oh, blast it all. Oh, just give me some time. There we go. Gold. Let's see, Crucible Trophy and ten thousand gold. Your fans await. Head out to greet them. Well, we got five perfect rounds exactly, which is pretty awesome. Well, into the. Cullis Gate and back to Westcliff. I wonder what awaits us now. That is a good question. We shall have to wait and see. Oh, congratulations! Three cheers for the new Crucible Champion! That was 
something else. Best crucible in years. A classic performance that will be remembered for all time. Or at least as long as there are people around to remember it. <laughs> Best of luck, old girl. Hope to see you around here again sometime. Certainly. Provided you don't suffer some horribly agonizing death on your travels. Bye bye now. Why do you always do that? Do what? Do Say what? stuff like that. It upsets people. <laughs> it upsets people. Oh, don't be silly, mad dog. I'm a lovable personality. Everybody says so. <sighs> Your victory. Your victory in the Crucible has earned you the right to be called Lionheart. It is now free from all town criers. Ooh, I might want to change my name to that. That would be cool. That was fantastic. I listened to the commentaries every step of the way. I even got in to see a few rounds. That one with the hobs. Bloody brilliant. Really makes me want to have a go myself. Yeah, alright. Don't get a big head. You won't fit in the boat. That's fair. Well done. Not many make it through the crucible alive. Yay! The spire's not going to be much of a laugh either. You should take some time out before you go. You might want to visit your family. Say goodbye. You know. Anyway, I'll make my way to the docks. So you know where to find me when you're all set to go. Sounds good. Well, it seems our path is laid before us. And Anna has a good point. Yeah. Once you are in the spire, leaving will be difficult. Probably a good idea. And there are those who still need your help on these shores. If you abandon them now, they will surely come to harm. Do not get on that ship until you are truly ready to leave your quests behind. Garth isn't going anywhere. You know how to wear clothes, I'll give you that. Sounds good. Well, I think I know what we're going to be doing next time. And I think, speaking of which, we are just about out of time. So I'm going to save and cut the video off here, but I will see you in the next video if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you enjoyed my videos, you can subscribe to my channel or follow me for updates on Twitter at LBD Let's Plays. And if you want to support me in other ways, you can buy me a Ko-Fi on Ko-Fi. No, the website is Ko-Fi. You can buy me a coffee on ko-fi.com slash littleblackdragon. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.